Engage. Hello there, how are you? It's Iska here. It's a bit late at night actually. I thought I'd pull the camera out and uh, maybe get a bit of footage of me pushing these chairs around and having a bit of fun. Um, in my last <laughs> last um, part of my cinema build, I actually you know, built this uh, rear riser. I built it to be a curve and I built that curve basically to fit these seats. And uh, it does, it looks really cool. Although I ap actually haven't pushed these seats against this riser yet. So that's partly what this video is going to be about. Although I don't really know what this video is going to be about. I'm just making it up as I go. But um, I thought what I might do is, yeah, just push them around. Uh, show you the configurations that I want to have for my home theater seating. Because I made that riser so that this riser is going to be a multifunctional riser. Imagine that there is a step, that PA head. Um, I've made this riser so that I can have the steps in the centre with the seats on either side. I've made it so that I can have the step on this side or on that side or on both sides and uh, just have the seating so I can kind of juggle it around and kind of have different configurations of seating etc. But yeah, I haven't really gone into any great detail, but um, hopefully by the end of this video you'll get an idea of what I want to do. Um, in future videos, actually coming up pretty soon, I will be doing some major surgery to these seats. I just picked up four more of these seats the other day, so that means I've got 12. And uh, if I average out how much I paid for the lot, or well, for each seat, it comes to something like $12.50, I think, for each seat. And they are in amazing condition, in really, really great condition. So how good is that? Just um, It's a lot of kind of looking on Facebook Marketplace, etc. And the main reason people are throwing them, you know, getting rid of them really cheaply is because of these reclining mechanisms. They always break because they're cheap, crappy plastic ones. So another thing that I'll be doing in the future is replacing those with these metal ones that I've been pulling off really expensive seats at the dump. These are metal. These will never break. So I've been collecting these, uh, but what I have to do is get in there, cut the leather, make the hole bigger with the jigsaw, and then install these. But yeah, these seats are gonna have a lot of work done to them. I'm gonna be putting LED lighting in them, USB, just making them look amazing and um, yeah anyway what I might do um, like I said I'm gonna make this uh, multifunctional riser where I can have the seats in all these different kind of looks I might just kind of do a bit of speed photography here time-lapse photography and uh, just set up and just set it up a little bit and see how it looks uh, I'm gonna start off I'm actually gonna leave it for the night as well I'm gonna put this into the center step mode so that the step is in the center and the front seats are on either side. I want to see what that looks like because so far I haven't had enough seats to be able to do that and now that I have 12 I can definitely do that. So I want to see what that looks like and then I'll watch a movie tonight and then probably in the next couple of days I'll do another configuration and show you what it looks like with the step on that side etc and we'll have a bit of a chat as well and I'll tell you what I want to do with the back seats as far as um, cutting them up because I am going to be pulling the angle grinder out and cutting the steel framing down and and pulling some of these arm center arms out and making them into seats that I can lie down on but um anyway enough talking let's just get into it I'm just going to set you up here and uh, start pushing these things and hopefully it's going to look pretty good
there you go. It's been weeks since I started this video. When you just saw me a few seconds ago pushing these seats around, guys, that was weeks ago. And um, yeah, it just happens with my videos, unfortunately. I thought I finished the video off, but it just turns out after I finished pushing these seats into this configuration, um, I forgot to put the lav mic um, on my hat like I normally have it. Instead, it was on one of the arms of the chair, I think. And I'm talking away, but you can't hear anything I said, so I have to redo everything. So let's start this part again. But guys, this here is what I call the Enterprise D bridge configuration, and that's from Star Trek, the next generation. If there's any fans there, you'd know that Captain Picard would sit there in the center chair, and down the front, you've had the guy steering the ship and all of this other stuff. I don't know what the other guy does. Science officer, maybe, who knows? But um, yeah. That's what I call the the the, the um, Enterprise D bridge configuration. <laughs> I love it, and I've had heaps of people over here watching movies in the last month, last few weeks, and man, everyone loves this. I keep talking. I I, I ask them what other configuration that I should do, and they don't do anything, mate. Just leave it like this. This is brilliant. And with all of these people, I've always told people to try and stay away from the sides where the speakers side speakers are, and no one really listens to me. And uh, so far, anyone that's sat on the sides there have always said, no, I love it, it's fine. The speakers don't sound too bad. I like having the speaker right up against my ear. So anyway, oh, that took me by surprise. But there you go, I love it. Now, the whole idea, I mentioned before that I wanted to do some surgery to these seats, cut them up with the angle grinder. What I was wanting to do is to actually cut there's, you can actually unscrew these center consoles where the cup rest holders are. You can actually unscrew and take them off, but underneath there, at the bottom, there's actually plate metal, so you have to cut that off. Now, I was gonna do that so I could push all of those three seats there up against each other and have one long three-seater, so I could lie down and watch the movie. But um, honestly, I've been, it's been like this for such a long time now, I'm used to it, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that now. I might, I probably will, because you can always just stick these in between whenever you wanna convert it back, you know, and the weight of the seats will just hold everything there. Um, it, it doesn't move, it's seriously nothing moves. So I'm not really sure. What I was thinking was actually having a mattress tucked in the back behind these seats up against that wall when everything's done. And if I really do wanna lie down on my side, I can always pull it out and stick it on the riser or even on the floor here and just kind of, um, watch the movie that way. But um, anyway, let's get into it again. Let's actually um, move these two seats and we'll push, all I'm gonna be doing is pushing these seats here up against these seats here and that's gonna be the next configuration. All right, so let's quickly do that. Actually guys, before we start, I'll just bring you back. I've got a couple of other things that I have to mention. Now, just before, just now, I just told you that I'm gonna move this one up against that one. It's not as easy as that. I yeah, shouldn't have said that. Basically, if I do that, then I'm gonna have two single arms pushed up against each other. We don't want that, that'll look shit. But um, if you have a look over here, this seat here does not have an arm. So what I'm gonna have to do is grab these seats, lift them up, and put them on the other side of these seats and then slide them across so that basically that seat there now becomes our center seat that will actually sit here and we will have one seat on the other side and the other side of that will be our steps. So yeah, so I thought I'd better mention that as well as you're probably wondering, well, this that means that this seat doesn't have an arm, you know, when it's in this configuration. And you're right, it doesn't. But the cool part is I've got all of these other, I've got three spare seats over here. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually pull one of these double arms off and somehow attach it to the other side of this seat when it's in this center step mode, the, um, the D bridge configuration. So yeah, hopefully that you can understand that. And it's just gonna be cool because I'll be able to take it off then when I wanna basically push them all up together. But you've probably seen this seat at the back here as well. It's the same deal. This one is missing an arm on the other side. It's just how it works out. Um, but if we have a look all the way down here, this one here isn't. This one actually shares a single arm and a double arm. Uh, and that's because with this particular lounge, because it's a four-seater lounge when you buy them from the shops, the very first seat 
does. It does, but the rest of the seats don't. So it's a bit confusing. But um, yeah, basically what I'm going to do is, you can see that there's a double arm up against the wall. I'm just going to grab another one of these double arms from over there and somehow attach that to this seat. And that will be another double arm against that wall, which will be cool because then it's, you know, symmetrical. Um, but the cool part is with that seat there, it can always remain like that. I'll do it so that it's solid and it will never have to be removed then. But um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. All right, so let's get into it. I thought I'd better mention all of that kind of stuff because it's basically noteworthy. All right, let's do it. There you go, what do you think? Ah, hmm, liking it. I am liking it. So that is what would we call this. So this is just the, the right step configuration. If you were sitting in the seat, the step would be on the right. And um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So one thing I haven't, I haven't actually done this configuration before. I mean, um, I've had my riser now for quite a few weeks and I've never actually had it in any other configuration other than that um, Enterprise D bridge mode. So what I want to do is actually, I'm just going to set you here. I'll put you on this stand here. I actually want to go up there. In fact, I'll move you a little bit closer. I want to go up there and sit in the captain's chair at the back there, because I want to make sure I can see over the top of this front seat here and see the floor. So, and awesome, that's amazing. That's excellent, I'm really happy with this because I, I can literally see my 180 inch 16.9 screen. You know how it, 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 it basically is jammed in between the soffit and the floor. Basically it's wall length and I can easily see over this seat. And if there was somebody sitting in the seat, I could see over their head. There's, there's about that much between, you know, the, the bottom of the screen. There's that much floor was showing, so that's excellent. That's something that I didn't really expect. I mean, I did all of these, you know, um, tests where I built um, risers, temporary risers, just to make sure. But um, it was really close. It was really close. I thought I'd be seeing the top of people's heads in some seating configuration. In fact, let me sit over there. Let me make sure the camera is showing this though. Let me go over here. I'm gonna go and sit in this one in the far corner here. Oh, and that's even better. I mean, yeah, I see heaps of the floor. Um, and the cool part is I'm looking straight through the, the center of these two seats. So there's this massive big gap there. So that's amazing as well. I think this is gonna be, you're gonna laugh, but I actually really like this seat. Um, many times late at night when I come in here to watch a movie, <clears throat> excuse me, I um, sit in this center, uh, corner seat right at the back. And I, I'm not sure why, I, I find it really cozy. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's got a lot to do with, I can see the entire cinema. I can see this beautiful curvature of all these seats up at the back. I can see all my front seats. I can see the rest of the cinema. I think that's got a lot to do with it. It's, um, it's kind of very satisfying. I really like it. And um, yeah, so awesome. That's amazing. Now, the last one, let's actually sit in this seat over here in this corner. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling I'm going to love this even more because there's nothing in front of me basically. So let me just go and sit down over here. I can't wait till all of these 
speakers. I've got my in-wall speakers and all of that kind of stuff. Ah, oh, that's magic as well. This is awesome. I mean, yeah, I love it. And I can see, I can see all of the sofa. Um, if I want to have the accent lighting around my tray lighting, whatever you call it, around the soffit, um, and the starfield ceiling, I think I can. Uh, a lot of people ask, "Are you going to keep your lights on when you when you watch a movie?" The starfield ceiling. I don't know. Well, you'll have the opportunity. Oh, it'll be all remote control, but I think I'll be watching it with the the starfield ceiling on. To be honest with you, especially if it's a lot of, um, especially it's a lot of sci-fi kind of movies. I reckon that'd be cool. But man, this cinema looks super huge. In fact, let me grab this camera. Let me grab the camera. I'll just move this stand. Okay, I'll show you what I'm seeing. Okay, from here. <laughs> there you go. Now, I know that light's in the way. Should I turn that off? In fact, I will. Let me just oh, come over here. Where is it? I'll put it up here. There we go, we'll turn that off. All right, let me sit back in this corner seat. There we go, check that out. Now, that screen, kind of, it's 150 inch 16.9, but remember, that's my small screen. <laughs> my big screen is 180, and it goes all the way down to the ground. You can actually see the sides of it. The framing is already done. Um, once, that's just gonna be a massive wall of screen, and that's what you see when you're sitting here. That's, this camera is actually at my eye level. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. So I just have to look up a little bit and you've got the entire Starfield ceiling. How cool is that? Awesome. Let's sit in the center seat. <clears throat> there you go. That's, that's how much, that is how much floor I am going to see. Um, there's heaps of headroom for the person in the next seat. Just have a look down there. And that's the curvature of my beautiful curved riser which obviously it's not finished yet, but it's gonna look incredible when it is. But I'm liking this. In fact, I'm, gonna, I'm actually not gonna move it. I'm gonna keep it in this configuration, or at least the next configuration um, for a little while. But yeah, this is amazing. Look at the Starfield ceiling view from here. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm actually thinking about getting some you know, LEDs and putting them in the tray lighting sooner rather than later I think I need to do something that looks like I'm progressing but um let's sit over here oh by the way did you see my popcorn machine found this at the dump <laughs> the other day it's too small from what I want I want something a bit bigger maybe on wheels um, but you can't leave a popcorn machine at the dump to get kind of put in landfill but check that out look at the look at how much this is at you know eye height look at I can see all you can actually see the bottom bottom part of the framing for the 180 inch screen um, yeah it's huge so I'm loving it I really am so this is awesome uh, uh, but we haven't finished we have not finished we need to now but this is cool look at this look how much space on the other side here this is all step I'm gonna have two steps I'm gonna have two steps coming down and the cool part is each step will have its own um, LEDs around the perimeter shooting down the step so it's gonna look super cool but for now let's just set you back up here and let's actually put it in the step on the left side of the cinema let's see how we go I'll just set you here all right let's do it Awesome, there we go, what do you think? So that is with the step. When I build this, finish this riser, I'll be, like I said, building separate stairs that detach. That's where the, <laughs> the step on this side is gonna go. And it looks excellent as well. So let's do the same thing, shall we? Let me just, I'm just putting this um, ladder here so that you can sit on top of there so I can actually move up there in fact I forgot to turn my light back on let's quickly just turn that back on 
Oh! Shit. All right. I'm okay, don't worry. Awesome, love it. This is excellent, I really do. I think this is gonna be a, one of my favorite seats. It's crazy, you know, everyone says the center seat has to be the favorite seat. Not with me, but I love it. I can see everything. And this is actually, actually, you know, really cool having the step on this side because at least when people wanna walk down and, you know, go over there to the arcade or the lolly shop or you know the candy section at least they can walk down here and not have to walk in front of everyone and in front of the projector they can just walk down here so that's a really cool thing I'm just going to go and sit over there now and have a look see what I think okay This is excellent as well. I can see the entire floor underneath the 180 inch screen. So this is just getting better. And the cool part is this seat, this is what I've been curious about, this seat here. Whoever sits here is going to be at least a meter, maybe even, let's measure it actually, to the, the, the speaker inside the wall. I just wanna see what that's gonna be. Yep, 1.1 meters, so 1,100 1, mil. That's excellent. I'm really happy about that. So that's a really cool seat to sit in. You're not going to be plastered right up against the um, the wall. Um, I love this. This is fantastic. So center. Let's try the center the center seat. Well, no, I don't need to try the center seat. We've already done that in the previous one. So there you go, and look, I've got a nice fair bit of space on this side. So guys, I'm stoked about that. I'm really happy. Now, okay, one last configuration, one last thing. And this is something that I never really thought about when I kind of was planning this, but because I've got all these extra seats left over, I've got three extra seats. Well, the thing is, I can actually turn this this front row, I can turn it into a five seater. I can put five seats there. But how is that going to look? Am I gonna be able to put a step on either side? In fact, that's one thing that I haven't done is the step on either side. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. So let's actually, let's actually try four at the front so that we can have an even step on both sides. May as well. That just means the center seat isn't going to be in the center. So I'm just gonna move this over here. Um, this has to go about there, I'd say. And you're probably wondering why I, well, I guess you're not wondering, but uh, this spirit level, I'm just kind of working out the center of the, the, the ceiling up here, which that basically means that's the center of the room. So it needs to come over this way, about a hundred mil. That'll do. <laughs> there we go. Let's have a look at that. Ah. Oh. That's gonna be cool. That is, look how much space we have on this side. We have enough you know, room for a step on that side. And we have more than enough room for another step on that side. So I can have a step on either side of my riser. Love it. And the cool part is, and this is what I'm gonna go and test now. Let me just set you back on here. The cool part is the center, the center seat at the back now, my captain's chair, it looks in between, it is actually in between. There's a nice big gap here. Is that gonna change anything? Oh yeah, it's kind of cool, I do like it. It's kind of like when you go to the movies and it's already set out like this so that, you know how they space them out so that there's a bit of a gap in between where you're watching, I think. But uh, this is cool, I love it, I really do. I like the look here. I like the way that you can actually walk down both sides. So, 
Excellent. Now, getting back to what I was talking about before. I just happen, <laughs> I just happen to have all of these spare seats over here. And I'm not throwing them out. I'm gonna hold on to them. I've worked a way to store these. I'll tell you about that in the next video or the one after that. But how about, let's say we grab one of these seats and we turn this into a five seat. Um, we turn this four seat arrangement at the front into a five seater. So is that gonna work? Can we put another seat in here and have enough room for an extra step on either side? How cool would that be? Or at least maybe even just do, four, or we'll definitely be able to do five and um, have one step on one side. But um, anyway, let's just mess around. I'm going to actually, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I need, let me just grab this camera. I need to grab one of these seats. I don't know which one though. Um, maybe this one, it's gonna be easiest I think. Yeah, this <laughs> looks like a goer. In fact, I'm gonna move this camera because you're in the way. All right, there you go. We have five seats at the front. We have five seats at the back. 10 seats all up. Wow, that's amazing. But is there enough room to put a side step on each side of the riser? Probably could. If I get this, um, get this subwoofer out of the way. It's gonna be tight, it will be tight. I don't know if I would do that. Um, I might, maybe. Um, but what I would definitely probably do is move this front row all against that wall there and that will give us more than enough room to have a really nice large step. In fact, let's do that just quickly before we end this video. Okay. Oh. This speaker's in the way. I don't really want to move this speaker. It's, oh, hang on, I probably, no, I'm not going to. I'll just move this over as much as I can. In fact, I'll lift it over. <laughs> That's awesome. In fact, you know what I haven't done, and I'll show you shortly. This is a really good indicator that's awesome i'm just looking at the curvature of my my rear riser and it is fitting these seats perfectly even with a five seat configuration look at that i know let's actually measure this just want to measure how far off the um the wall your ear is at the side here Remember these, I'll have in-wall speakers. So, that's 700, 700 mil. Your ear would be off the wall. That's still pretty good. I'm happy with that, considering people who have been sitting in the back corners so far haven't even cared about the speakers being right there. But look at that, guys. Check that out, five seats at the front. I mean, these things don't even come as a five-seater. You couldn't even buy these. But um, the curvature works. Now let's have a look. Heaps of room there for a, um, a side step. But let's have a look at the back. So remember, this curved riser was built to fit these seats and look how perfect it is. It is perfect. <laughs> couldn't, have been hap couldn't be happier with that. That's amazing. All right, so. And the coolest part is about this setup is if I was to sit in the captain's chair now, 
So I'll just sit up there now. I'm still looking straight through that gap and that's amazing. <laughs> a 10 seater home cinema. Wow. That is so, so cool. I'll come grab you. Hang on a second. Now the cool part, let me just turn this light off again. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to angle this light around so that we can see the front a little bit better. That's it. Now I'm just going to come and sit at the back here in the captain's seat. Look at the back of these chairs. Doesn't that look cool? Now, when I do my LEDs in the front edge of my riser, those LEDs will be lighting up. You'll get a really nice glow of these seats. It's going to look amazing. Remember, there's going to be a second layer of flooring going on this riser yet, and that second layer of flooring is going to have an edge on it. So it's going to probably stick out another, I don't know, 60 mil maybe. But uh, look at that. So this is eye height. I can see heaps of the floor. That is going to look amazing when the screen is all the way from the ceiling all the way down to the floor, taking up that entire wall. But uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm just going to turn this light back on. Well, that's my video, guys. I better kill it because this part is going way too long. I didn't know what this video was going to, if this was going to even be a video when I started filming, but I'm glad I did because I'm definitely going to post this. I'm super happy with my seating. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to have five seats at the front there like that all the time, but at least I can add a, you know, a fifth seat if I want. I mean, I'm going to keep this in this configuration for the next few nights and watch some movies. In fact, I might turn the lights off, shut the curtains and watch a movie right now. But uh, there you go, guys. I'm going to call it. I'm Isky. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. And um, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. <sighs> this is awesome.